Hey everyone, I just want to show you a quick um, three beat weave tutorial and also just like pointers and tips and things that help me with the three beat weave. Um, so I got two different color hoops here to hopefully make it a little bit easier. I'm going to start only with one though just to show you guys what I found helped me the most and what I kind of struggled with in the beginning. So basically if you're going to take your hoop and you do your regular weave, what I find to be one of the most helpful things and the first thing to start with is learning that when the arm crosses over to do the open, the extra beat, the open spin there. So basically you're going to do your regular weave and when your hand comes over, you're going to let the hoop come to the side here. You're going to open your hand up and let it just roll over just your thumb and then grab it again on the outside and go back into that weave. So basically the first thing I tell people to do when they want to learn their three feet weave is to just start with just that move in whichever hand is your most comfortable one. So I'm a righty, so I'm going to start with my right hand, scoop over the left one, scoop right, and when it comes back over, I'm going to let it thumb roll, grab again, and go back. Again, I'll slow that down a little bit so it's going to come over, thumb roll, and grab again on the outside, and back. Now, once you start doing that on your dominant side, and you can do it comfortably a bunch, here we go, Oop, over, roll, over, you know, and this is like fluid for you, that's when you grab the other hand. So we're going to switch to the other side. Now, the same thing, you're going to do your regular weave, and when it comes over to the other side, that's when you're going to do your open hand roll on your thumb and grab it again. So it comes over, thumb roll, grab. Once you're really comfortable with this too, and you're like, okay, I can do this in both hands comfortably, that's when I'd say, okay, pick up your second hoop. So then what I find is comfortable for me is to just start with, you know, your basic three beat weave. I like to start with my right arm first. So I go right and I chase left. So my right arm's gonna come over. And now a good thing to do is just take notice. See how my right arm is the only one going on top right now? That's gonna be the first one I'm gonna actually start the three beat weave with. So when you go to do this, you're actually starting the third beat on the whatever arm comes over. So my right arm is going to be the one coming over. And that's going to be doing the open hand ah, thumb roll right there. Grab it back on the outside and go back to the other side. So we're going to start again. I'm going to go right side first. Right's over. Right's over. Right's over. Now look, I'm literally going to stop right here. And this is where this hoop is going to roll over my thumb. And then the weave's gonna continue. But now, look what happens. My left arm is now on top every time. So now that my left hand's on top, it's gonna go over and on my left side, left side, left side, I'm gonna let it do its roll and then keep going. So basically that is the three beat weave, just really slow and with spaces and gaps in it. So basically, when you're starting a your regular weave, again, I'm gonna start right hand over, I'm gonna go right, the left's following, right's over, left's following. And when I come over and this right comes to the side here, this one's still all the way back over here. I'm going to let it roll over my thumb, as I did that really poorly. <laughs> roll over my thumb. And then that's when this is going to go back over to the other side. And this one's going to come over. And now, oh, I got all tangled up there. Hold on. So it's going to go right. Right one's over. Right one's over. Right one's over, thumb roll, let it follow. And that's normally where I get a little messed up too if I try and slow it down too much. But basically what happens from there is this one does the actual, hold on, it's over. This one does the roll over your thumb and keeps going. And now the left one is gonna be over every time. And that's when the left comes over, you do the roll. And then eventually you can just continuously go with it. This is as slow as I can kind of go so you can see the motion. Ugh. <laughs> the other hoop got in the way. There's another thing I find if you have a little bit smaller minis to practice with, it's a little bit easier just for like slowing it down and having the spacing and you're not like crashing hoops into each other and stuff. Um, this is like a 34 and this is like a 33. So when I first was learning, these were a little big for me. I found I had like 20 inch ones from Walmart that were really cheesy and they helped me the most learning. Also, I know it sounds strange, but I had to close my eyes. I couldn't do it watching myself. I couldn't watch my hands do the motion and actually understand it. So what I did is I literally just started doing my regular weave with my eyes closed and I thought about, okay, the right arm's coming over, the right arm's gonna thumb roll. Now the left arm's over. 
and the left arm comes over and it's in a thumb roll. And I literally had to close my eyes to, to just envision it in my head and not actually see it. Otherwise, it just wasn't clicking. Um, so I hope this helps anybody out there trying to do the three beat weave. Again, I'll show you what it looks like all put together. So if you're going and you're like, okay, regular weave. I got my left arm on top, so I'm gonna start left and it's gonna go three beat weave. And then once you get really comfortable with it, you can actually keep your wrists together in the middle here and get a really pretty motion out of it. But again, when you first start, don't even think about trying to bring your wrists near each other. <laughs> you wanna just worry about, you know, slowing the actual motion down and going roll once, follow, and let it lead. And when it comes over again, roll once, now that one's leading. And really, it's all about the one hoop chasing the other. Whichever one do, does that thumb roll, it's now losing the lead and the other one's going in front of it. So if, if you think about it and you're doing your regular weave, whatever hand's on top, that's gonna be the one that does the extra beat. And after you do that extra beat, now whatever hand was following behind basically passes it and is now the on top arm and is leading your three beat weave. All right, I hope this helps. If it doesn't or you have any questions, message me. Have a great night, bye.